Welcome to CES 2019. This is the place where companies come to show off their new technologies and also the weirdest tech, sometimes years before they're actually going to be on the market. This is the third year that I've come to CES. This place is massive. Let's do this. One of the coolest booths that I've seen at CES, the Dolby booth. And this video is sponsored by Dolby. Check this out, right when you walk in, you see this. You have the sound up here. You have these TVs everywhere. I need you to get a full perspective of what this looks like. Hunter, take over. This is the intro. You have these giant TVs, speakers that are placed all over so you can hear the Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos sound and vision. This is how you do CES. Check out how beautiful this room is. Is this brick real? It's not. That is not real, but it looks real. So I'm in the Dolby living room right now. Ooh, it's dark in here. This is Dolby Atmos. Now, sound moves around you in three-dimensional space with breathtaking audio quality. It brings the on-screen action alive and immerses you in every moment. I can hear the different sounds all around me. And then the screen captures the so beautiful. That's bright. That lightning. What you thought was black isn't. This is black. Okay, so that's what we've learned for many different TVs. This is contrast that delivers green blacks that are blacker, darker blacks. Like, I mean, look at that. The this contrast with the light and the dark is crazy. Between white and pure energy. Energy that is about to reveal That's ridiculous. an entire universe of color. That's that great. Transform your viewing Isn't that beautiful, Hunter? Why can't every movie be this bright? Oh my gosh, look at that desert. When you're at CES, a lot of the things you see are called vaporware, which is basically people show you really nice flashy things that look incredible, that you're like, yes, take my money now. They aren't actually coming out to the market anytime soon. And when they do come to market, they a lot of times don't look as good as what they showed you. But the great thing about everything that we're seeing in this booth today is that it is all available on the market right now. Most TV brands support Dolby Vision and the price starts from around $349. Sound bars with Dolby Atmos start at $399, and some TVs with both Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos are available under $1,000. So if you're looking for a TV, either read online first or ask the people where you're buying it, is it Dolby enabled? I'm gonna show you something that's gonna blow your mind. Within 10 minutes of seeing it, I actually went online and purchased this, because I think it's gonna be a game changer for our family. Why are headphones a game changer? Well, in my family, everybody goes to bed at like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Except for me. I'm up until midnight, almost every night, editing videos, replying to your comments, planning out new content. Something different about these headphones than any headphone I've ever seen is you connect it to an app and you decide what type of noise canceling you want. It's called Dolby Life Mix. This is where I think of this thing is a game changer. Say you have kids that are asleep in the other room taking their nap and you just wanna watch your Netflix show or you just wanna watch your favorite show, whether it's on your TV or your tablet or your phone. And you can take this thing all the way down to zero so right now with the Dolby Life Mix, I'm probably talking really loud because it's at zero. I don't hear anything outside. It's hard to even hear myself talk. If somebody came in the room and was talking to me, I likely would not even hear them unless they were like yelling super, super loud. There's a built-in microphone that actually captures the outside noises. And so if you take the Dolby Life Mix transparency level and go up, right now I'm at 11. You can listen to your content and the sounds are beautiful. They're great. You can hear all of the music, all of the noises from your, from your movie. You're not missing anything. And then as soon as your daughter wakes up and she starts making noises, you're gonna hear it and you can take them off, pause your movie and go check it out. So, pretty dang cool. 2018, you guys probably saw a lot of movies. Well, out of the top 10 movies, nine out of the 10 use Dolby Vision or Dolby Atmos or both in them. This is a TV made by TCL. They're big in China. I think they're the third largest TV manufacturer in the world. So uh, let's see how good Dolby Vision and Atmos is. So right now I'm watching this surfing show. If you were here, you would hear the sound and you would see the vision in the way that it's meant to be displayed. 
the colors are more vibrant and rich. The blacks are deeper and the sound, you can almost feel it. And it's pretty impressive that this is coming from the TV without an additional sound bar, without a home sound system. I can tell you, it looks good. Something really good about the future of Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos is each year there's more and more content being formatted in Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. There are also more devices that are adopting to the technology. More services like Netflix are adding Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos to their libraries. If you were in the market for a new entertainment system, make sure it's Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos enabled. There's always that moment when I travel where I think, oh, I wish Lincoln was here. Well, this is the one for sure that I wish Lincoln was here. Did you know? that Dolby Atmos is in video games. That's right, this is the video game room, and I'm gonna play some video games for a little bit. There are certain games like this one, Lara Croft Tomb Raider, where because we have the sound bar and then the different speakers around the room, you can hear everything around you, which is a huge advantage. If you hear it first, you can move over and you can get the people and have a better reaction time. All right guys, this booth is pretty incredible. This is just a small sampling of what you see at CES. This is one of my favorite booths, the Dolby booth. Give this video a thumbs up if you think this is one of the most beautiful spaces you've ever seen. This is why I wanted to show you and do a full on video of the Dolby space. So let me know in the description, what were some of your favorite things from today from the Dolby booth? I'm curious to know your thoughts. Next year at CES, what would you like to see me do more of? Thanks for watching. Thank you.